All right, we have uh, Mr. Butler here. He's going to show us around the uh, pump ladder truck, um, and he's going to show us some of the equipment that they use. So I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Butler. All right, guys, so this is the ladder truck again. This is the one that I just got done climbing. Uh, we're just going to do a walk around, and we'll show you guys everything that's in, these, in the truck. Uh, we're going to start right here at the front bumper. So here in the front, uh, we have... There we go. We have um, two different hose lines, and these are lines actually we can pull. They actually go into fires, and they're quick. Uh, just grab them and go. And then this is one of our favorite things that we have. This is our belt. This that rope goes into the truck, and a guy that sits inside the truck actually pulls that rope. That's what they this do in the where, cartoons. Uh, the pull, isn't it? What's that? Isn't that how they do it in the cartoons? They pull the string, and it makes the bell ding. Oh yeah, so you can see it's just, it literally is just a rope that comes in here and you just grab it and pull it. Um, I've actually been on the way to fires where the siren quit working and that's all we had. So the officer sits here, the driver sits over there and then you can see uh, in the back we got a couple guys we'll go around but um, just like riding the car we have a seatbelt. Uh, everybody has to wear a seatbelt in the truck and then our air packs like uh, these are what we go in and we actually have these built into the seat that way we can uh put them on in route to the fire so when we get there we're ready to go so it's just like a big toolbox you can see every uh place that we can put something we do so we have um two hose lines there just like the ones on the front bumper those lines can come off either direction and they can go into fires uh this is just like a utility cabinet here um, that we keep uh, extra oil dry, some shovels and stuff that we might need to clean up, uh, maybe like a roadway or something during uh, a car accident. And then we have a couple firefighting tools that come out of here. Um, hooks, we use those to pull ceiling down if we're trying to look for a fire, if it's gotten somewhere that we can't get to. We'll open those up and look. Um, these are all connections that hoses go to. So the big one um, comes right off of a fire hydrant, hooks into here. And then these two little ones here will hook to um, additional lines that we can stretch into fires. Uh, this compartment here, we have our saws. So we have um, just a regular chainsaw that we can use to cut holes in roofs or walls or whatever. And then this one here, the circular one, um, we use that one to go through any metal, um, whether it's a garage door we have to cut into or a fence if we need to cut a fence down, we'll use that. Uh, to cut to cut that the rotary saw um, up top there right here we have uh, that compartment folds down and there's actually just regular ladders in there uh, there's a, uh, a regular ground ladder and then an extension ladder so if we need to you know access something that we don't need to put up the big ladder for we can get th those ladders down and we can use those um, we have some lighting that we can put out on a scene this little door here, you'll see all the way around the truck. Um, and these are just extra air bottles. So these bottles, if we uh, need more air, we'll take the old one off, put those on our air packs and go in. But you can see we use every little inch of space on these trucks. Um, this is some medical stuff. These masks here are actually for your dog. So if we find a dog that's been in a fire, we have a special mask that we'll use to, uh, to give the dogs oxygen. Uh, those are just different stuff uh, for sea collars. Um, if you're in a car accident, we can use that stuff. Here's all of our hand tools. So we have axes. Uh, that's a small pike pole. We have big sledgehammers here. All kinds of tools. A couple fire extinguishers we have. And then this here is a big fan. Um, and this fan, this fan is big enough, we can pressurize an entire building. And then uh, from there, we can ex get all the smoke out of the building. Um, that's the ladder. That's where we can go up to the ladder. Up top there, underneath this cover, that's all the hose that we use to connect to the fire hydrant. And then here on this side, uh, that's just a little bit bigger hose. So if we have a bigger fire, you can see how much uh, wider that hose is. We can get a lot more water on a the fire there. All different connections, this is the same. 
Uh, we hook up to fire hydrants there. Here's where I got the, la the belt to go up from the ladder. We have another, um, this can here is actually just uh, water. So if we have a small fire, we can use just the can to put the water, uh, put water on the small, smaller fire. All of these up here are different appliances that we can use to connect different size of hoses if we need to connect more hoses. Um, we have a ton of uh, tools and appliances that we can use, different fittings that we can connect, connect multiple lengths of hose um, to different things up there. Here, everybody likes these. These are the jaws of life. So these are what we'll use to um, cut, we can cut up cars with these. We can use these to open doors. So this one here is just like a big pair of scissors. So that'll actually cut a car right in half. And then this one, instead of cutting, this one spreads open like that. So if uh, there's a car accident and a, a car is pinched closed, we can put these, the teeth in there and open it up and it'll actually push all that metal back open so we can gain access to somebody. Um, each one of those probably weighs about 65 pounds uh, by themselves. So they're, they're pretty heavy. They get, they get pretty uh, cumbersome to, to carry around and use it, um, especially if, you know, if somebody goes off into like a, an area that we have to carry them a long ways, they get pretty heavy pretty quick. How do they run? The, okay, so these are newer ones. These are actually um, a lot better. You can see it's a battery. So these are uh, battery operated. And this battery um, runs a hydraulic pump inside of them. So we used to have a, a separate motor, a separate pump, and then hose lines that we'd have to carry all of that down. And uh, within the last couple of years, we got those. That makes our job, you know, 100 times easier because oh, now we can just grab that and go versus having to carry around that motor and the hoses and everything else. Um, so this panel is where you operate the pump. So all of these levers, each one of these levers here, you pull those and that sends water to a different hose. Um, same with these levers, these, and then we have drains on the bottom there. But one guy, his job on a fire scene is to drive the truck there. And then he stands here at this pump panel and he watches all these gauges up here. And he makes sure that everybody has enough water um, on their hose line so that they can fight the fire and everybody can be safe. But he stays right here at this panel. So do, do um, I saw that there was three or four different spots where you hook up the hydrants. Do they all interconnect inside the truck? And they do. And then those gauges move it around? Yep. There is a, uh, there's a single man manifold uh, on the pump. So all of the uh, inlets all of these big inlets here coming off, off of the hydrant or off of another truck, they go in, um, there's one intake on the pump, and then on the opposite side of the pump, there's one discharge, and then it splits off to all of, all of the different uh, hose lines everywhere on the truck. So you can look around, I think there's like 12 or 15 different spots where we can hook up hose to get uh, water out of the truck, and there is three spots where we can hook up to get water into the truck. That's why they're so big here, and then these ones are so small coming off for the discharge. Hmm. We could fill a swimming pool. If we had enough water, we could sw fill a swimming pool in about three and a half minutes out of this truck. Excellent. I think I may call you. <laughs> yeah, I think my, my parents said the same thing. <laughs> All right. So back here, uh, this is where the, the uh, other firefighters ride. We have one here and one on that side. But as you can see, um, it's also, this is all of our medical equipment. So we can do everything that an ambulance can do except for take you to the hospital. So we have um, a cardiac monitor so we can look at what your heart's doing. We have medications we can administer. Uh, we have oxygen we can give. We have rope bags. We, everything that an ambulance can do, we can do out of this truck except for transport you to the hospital. So that's that. That's four people. What are, what are the other three guys? If you're on a shift, do. Um, all right. So like today, let's flip this around. So today, uh, so I'm driving the engine and I'm driving the ladder today. Uh, depending on what call we get, I may take the engine or I may take the ladder. We have two ambulances in service. 
and each ambulance has two guys on it. So that's four. And then there's um, myself. I'm driving. We have the uh, our officer who rides across from me. He's in charge. And then we have one guy riding in the back. So actually, like in this truck, nobody will ride on the other side. I'll just have one guy riding behind me. Okay. And he's like he's kind of like the um, he's the one doing most of the manual labor and the work. It's usually the younger guy because they have you know they're a little bit uh, more resilient. And then you kind of work your way up through the positions as you get promoted. Um, so I've been on now about 13 years. So I've made it to the position where I'm pretty much just driving the trucks. So then that, that, that means that you get to run all of those gauges and switches and all that. Yep. Yep. Okay. It's uh, it, that job can be very stressful in the beginning because you have to get all the lines out. And then um, you're also responsible for everything that comes off of the truck, uh, making sure that it gets back on and gets back on in the right position so that you're ready to go to the next run. Because when we leave a fire scene, we could go a week without getting another fire or we could get a fire two minutes up the road. So the truck needs to be 100% ready to go, just like it was when we got there. It needs to be the same way, uh, ready to go when we leave. Excellent. Yep. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate uh, the tour. Uh, there was a lot of good information. Um, is there anything else? Nope. Thanks for everybody right. well, watching. Th I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much.